Selfing and crossing techniques in rice. Selfing and non-selfing are the essential procedure in the crop improvement process. The exact procedure used to ensure self or cross pollination of specific plant depend on the flower morphology and normal manner of pollination. Rice flower morphology. Stamens are six in number and filaments are slender. The anthers are versatile. Pistil has single ovule, two style and two stigma. In rice, anthesis commences shortly after emergence of panicle. Spikles at the tip blooms first and proceed downward. Anthesis time is between 8 and 10 am. Materials required Scissor Forceps Petri dish Butter paper bag And thread Panicles of desired female parent are selected for emasculation. In order to induce anthesis, heat was given artificially by blowing of covering the panicle with cloth. Emasculation is a process of removal of stamens or anthers or killing the pollen of a flower without the female reproductive organ. After blowing, top one third and bottom one third portion in the panicle of the desired female parent were cliffed off by using scissor leaving the middle portion of the spikelet. With the help of the scissor, again one third portion in each spikelet is clipped off in a slanting position. Remove the six anthers present in each spikelet carefully. Here, hand emasculation method is used. It is a process of removal of anthers with the help of the forceps. Here, hand emasculation method is used. It is the process of removal of anthers with the help of the forceps. These are the emasculated spikelets. To avoid the contamination from the foreign pollen, the spikelets are covered with a butter paper bag. Dusting Dusting is done between 8 and 10 am. Collection of panicles from the desired male parent. The male parent panicle is inserted in an inverted position into a paper bag and turned in both face into the male parent panicle is inserted in an inverted position into a paper bag and turned in both face in order to disperse the pollen in an emasculated spike lid. Another method. In another method, the pollen grains are collected in petri dish and used for dusting. Collected pollens are dusted on the stigma using forceps.
the following data are recorded on the butter paper bag male and female parent date number of panicles collected number of spikelets dusted the spikelets are covered immediately after artificial crossing these are the data recorded on the butter paper bag selfing selection of panicles for selfing in the selfing of cross pollinated species it is essential that the flower are bagged or otherwise protected to prevent natural cross pollination so in order to avoid the contamination from the foreign pollen the spikelets are covered with a butter paper bag